today is Friday, 18th. It's um, 8.50, 8.40 in the morning. It's my second day of my stay in Toronto. I just got ready and um, I'm very excited. And today it's going to be like the day that I've been waiting for since I requested for this flight, flight like a month ago. And um, the weather looks so good. Yeah, <laughs> sorry, I forgot to tell you the reason why. Because I'm going to Niagara Falls today. I've been waiting for this since I saw this on my roster. The weather looks so good, just looking so sunny. It's a bit chilly though, but it's still early. Oh, and the Lake, lake Ontario is there. So we arrived to the first stop on our trip um, to Niagara Falls. And this is some um, souvenir city. The trip is so windy. The trip is amazing, really. Like I haven't taken this kind of trip since I was a child. I've been to like over 56 countries, and I haven't taken this type of trip in a long time. And I was really afraid it's gonna be boring and like for older people. But to be honest, it's really cool, and the tour guide is very informative and knowledgeable, and it's like so many interesting and fun uh, facts that I would not know if I would just rent a car and go with the crew so I'm really glad about that done some souvenir shopping I got some few things and now we are heading straight to Niagara Falls so that should be fun I'm looking forward to it it's really cold it's sunny but it's really cold so let's see if I <laughs> manage I really took a code from the bus driver in the bus so that's how I was going so after nearly two hours drive I finally arrived to Niagara Falls and just have a look at that Guys, this is incredible, isn't it? Like never in a million years I thought I would be here. <laughs> but I'm so happy I am, finally. <laughs> so that's the Niagara Falls here. Some of the people went to take the boat tour there. But just because I'm afraid to get wet and get my makeup ruined, I didn't. Yeah, don't judge. <laughs> I know it's a bit ridiculous. You can also take like a walk into to the falls, like there, all the way there. I don't know if you can see here. And then climb up there, all the way there, and take a pictures from there. But can you see all this water condensation thing in the air? It's so wet in there, like the mist in the air. So that's the Niagara Falls here. Here is the city behind. Here is the, the Niagara Falls city with all the cool things going on there. So I would go and check that too. Look at these guys. This is such an amazing view. I thought it's going to be more crowded. But it's not. It's not so horrible. Like taking a picture in Brooklyn Bridge was so much hassle to do it. Here there are lots of plenty of tourists, but still it's manageable to take a bunch of good pictures. Probably maybe because most of people went to take a boat, which I'm not going to do. I have two hours to walk around around the city, and I will go up hill to check. They have like the, the tour guide said they have plenty of amazing things. So let's see, and also I have to grab something to eat. And then after that, we will go to 
winery for some wine tasting on the way back so that should be fun too obviously and they have some nice wine guys you have no idea asking random people to take a picture of you it's exhausting it's exhausting it's one of the disadvantages of traveling alone there's no one to take a good picture of you and then they ask like is it okay i'm like yeah it's okay but it never is but anyway whoever does that i appreciate they are trying it's very nice but i'm, I'm really very picky of how i want my pictures to be so yeah the weather become really so hot now and it's really amazing beautiful day beautiful i'll go and grab something to eat there is tim portals there and probably I will end up eating there because everywhere is so crowded and I just don't want to waste uh, half of an hour like half an hour or 20 minutes to wait for my food to come so yeah I'm so happy I'm here really it's one of the best experiences of this month New York was great and this is great and there's Sydney next this is a really amazing month travel wise this biggest tourist attraction obviously but it, the funny thing is I don't know what does it have in common with the Niagara Falls itself because that's the reason why people come here but what they have here is the most are theme parks and there are theme parks like Frankenstein house or like haunted houses all those kind of things which I don't know why but it's quite interesting and it's like lots of fun to walk around and see all this something new. It feels a little bit like a Hollywood place where they shoot all the movies. It's funny, why, uh, why do they have so many haunted house, houses here? That's, I didn't... That would be the last thing I would expect here, to be honest. exaggeration but quite often because you know the time change the length of the flight and the, uh, the sleep and the rest time and then the fact that uh, I want to see and I want to make the most out of each layover so like I the time schedule is tight sometimes so yeah like the falls are little bit anyway time to yeah. chill and relax now no. cheers guys yeah there are falls was amazing so at last was beautiful it was like i'm so happy i included it on my list of the things i've so i've seen just guys i want to tell you one thing look at the store i am in we are in canada in uh, niagara falls uh, when i used to live in usa before i did my master degrees before i started to work in a bank before i got this job before everything I used to work in a store like this, I remember. That's a fun fact. And I used to earn so little. I couldn't afford much. 
not much like basic things. I still managed to travel a little bit around USA, but still, when I think of that times and when I think of what I have now and where am I now and what kind of life I'm living now and what kind of job I have and what is my lifestyle, I can't believe the, all everything I went through and how far have I come and I'm really glad and grateful for that. So for to all of you who are like in your early 20s and you are struggling and you are uh, doubting in your dreams and you don't want um, you don't want to make like questionable decisions you want to follow like what your friends thinks is right for you or like just follow your dreams and follow your hearts and work hard and be consistent and the most 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 important thing in life is to be consistent once you choose the goal and once you choose what you want to do so yeah let's i just came into this shop just because i had this memory and i only wanted to have this uh, thought and to tell you about that so yeah i'm really um, when i look back i'm really happy where i have been and what i have done and i wish all of you to have this feeling one day. Oh my god, guys, look at those shoes. <laughs> they are, they look so comfy, they are like so warm. They remind me of like native citizens, I think that's the goal, I think. And yeah, I think they could be great for around the house, but they doesn't look like they have my size. So I guess no. So guys, I wanted to tell you, I was yesterday, in my yesterday's vlog, I was talking about how impressed I was with the city and I considering how about moving here because it, um, it seems so nice and so perfect. When I did here, the prices of properties here, I'm like, no, thank you, I'm not gonna leave to work. I'd rather, I'd rather work to leave, so I don't think I'll try that. Here in the place uh, called House, here with my new friend Diego that I met on the trip, and it's a really uh, beautiful street. It's called Niagara on the Falls, and this place is famous for the best, best Canada ice creams. That's what they say. So let's see. Moving outside, we will be tasting more wines. Thank you. At the end of our trip, we arrived to the winery. They make um, a very famous thing, uh, which is called the ice wine. And this is the only thing, I mean, it's invented in Germany, but Canada is famous for that. So I'm looking forward to try that. It's made of frozen grapes. So our tour guide, who's there in a red shirt, he's really good. He has so many information. I've never about this trip and what's the better thing to finish off such a great day such a great day than a glass of wine Cheers. so yeah guys I found it this is the famous ice wine famous product from here and here you have like the nose tropical fruits strawberry yeah it's not cheap it's like $40 but I think it's worth it. So I'm gonna get this. Yay! Party when I go home to see my baby, who's a wine lover, <laughs> to say the least. And he will appreciate that because he knows the good wines. So, babe, that's for us when we see each other. <laughs> 